Good morning. Welcome to the Community for Conscious Living Weekly Live broadcast. Today is Sunday, February 11th of 2024. <laughs> the Community for Conscious Living is a community dedicated to personal transformation for universal harmony, healing the planet by making inspired changes in ourselves and in our daily lives that create a sustainable environment and a peaceful world. Today's topic is Are You Your Partner's Dumping Ground? This is something that I speak of from personal experience. I, I had a partner at one time that, you know, granted he had a lot of stress, but I seemed to be the person that he would just every day dump on. All, whatever was happening, it was as if, as if he would bring it home to me and it was my fault. And he would just unload and unload and unload, but not in a way to say, this is what happened today and it was really stressful and I'm having a bad day. It was as if me being in his life was just like the worst thing. And it was interesting because, you know, I, I let me just say this. No matter what, let me say this for the introduction. I'll get into the specifics in a minute, but for the introduction, the no matter what, and no matter how loving and compassionate you are, that does not feel good. No matter how well you know your partner, that gets old. And you know, I, I at the time spoke with a friend, and I said, you know, I just, I don't know what to do about this. I'm tired of just this coming at me every day and she helped me to see that i was the person he felt safe with so he could come home and just unload anything and he felt like he had a safe space to do it with me and you know still not okay but i i could understand a little more and it gave me a different lens to look through so that i could find the words inside myself that needed to speak to the part of him that was open to hearing what I had to say, right? Because if I just kind of pushed back and fought back from that place, it would have been too, you know, just a totally disconnected argument that would go nowhere. But to be able to see from the perspective of, okay, who is he being in this moment? <clears throat> what is he really speaking from and what is he needing? And then who am I being in this moment? Who do I really want to be? and need to be, and how do I speak from there? It, it takes the conversation to a different level and a level that can really shift the relationship dynamics. So in today's meditation and healing circle, I wanna help you regardless of whether you're dumper or dumpy, or you know if this is an intimate partner relationship or you know, uh, if it's you know, not exactly hitting on the mark, that's okay, but to help you to uh, find the place inside yourself of, okay, what is your authentic truth? What is your uh, inner pole of strength and authenticity that gives you the ability to connect with someone else's inner being and speak heart to heart rather than reaction to reaction? All right, so that's where we're going today. Let's come into our circle. Sitting side by side, shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, knee to knee, coming together as one. And let's bring everything to face toward the center of the circle. Your eyes, ears, nose, mouth, your throat, your heart, your belly. Let's bring everything to face toward the center. Bring all of you to be here, to be present. And together, let's call on our source to, in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. We call on you. We ask you to send your essence of your pure divine light. <clears throat> Just imagine, perceive this pure divine light streaming into the center of our circle, streaming in pure divine light. And this light is a light of awakening, a light of illumination, a light that shines onto those places that have been in the shadows so that we can see them more clearly. So let this light come in and shine. Shine upon you. Shine into your heart. Shine into your field. And just let that light shine. 
and receive it. Receive it into your field. Receive it into your heart. Receive it into your body. And let this light shine. Pure divine light. And with your breath, you can breathe it in. And just imagine this vibration of pure divine light. This is the the divine light, right? The light of illumination, light of that shines a light on the truth, that shines onto, right? The light itself that shines onto the uh, things that, God willing, we're ready to see. So use your breath. And as you breathe this in, just breathe it in. Imagine this light coming through your pores and going all the way into the core of your body, into that vertical core. And also imagine this light coming through the top of your head along your vertical core. So it comes through the top of your head and it moves all the way down along the front of your spine, through your heart, and continuing down through your solar plexus, through your sacral center, and your base. And just let that light run through you, right? That light, and it already runs through you. What you're doing is really bringing your awareness and attention to what's already there, because when you put your focus on it, your attention on it, it will respond, right? So feel that awakening in you and vibrating more um, actively, perhaps, so you can sense it and feel it. And just let yourself feel that light moving through you. And as you inhale, you're inhaling that light through your pores, all the way through your tissues and your fluids, your bones, all the way into your vertical core. And as you exhale, just let yourself drop down along that vertical core and land into your hips, land into your pelvic bowl. Breathing in that pure divine light to meet the pure divine light at the core of your being. And as you exhale, let that pure divine light at the core of your being, let it strengthen, let it vibrate more intensely so it is putting off even more light and radiating out through your tissues, through your fluids, through your bones. So the outer is meeting the inner and the inner is meeting the outer until, as my teacher used to say, there is no inner or no outer, there is only one. In the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. Again, let's call on our source. We call on you. We ask you to send your essence of your unconditional love. Just imagine this pure, unconditional love streaming into the center of our circle. And turn your heart center. Funnel that extends from the front of your chest. Turn that to face right into this pure, unconditional love that's streaming into the circle. And let that, let your, that funnel just catch that stream of unconditional love. And again, use your breath. Let this funnel be like a breathing portal and breathe it in through your heart center all the way into that vertical core. And as you exhale, just let yourself release any of the clutter, the tension from your heart space. You can rub your heart space or tap on your heart space and that all along the, the front of your chest, under your collarbones, along the sides of your neck. Just let that loosen up any of that tension and clutter from your chest, from your breastplate. And just breathe that in. Breathe in that unconditional love and pure divine light. And let that unconditional love, just keep breathing it into the center until your breath reaches all the way through your heart portal, all the way into your vertical core. And as you, as you like sit into your pelvic bowl, just let your, like your energy body lean back into your spine and let your heart be like a receiving bowl and let it fill with that unconditional love 
and let it stream in and fill the whole core of your body with unconditional love. In the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. Again, let's call on our source. We call on you. We ask you to send your essence of your eternal compassion. Just imagine, feel, perceive this pure compassion. This streaming into our space, totally filling the space. And the compassion is that ocean of living consciousness that is the womb that surrounds all of our creation and keeps us in this safe container of total love, acceptance, compassion. Just let yourself be held there. Breathing in this pure divine light and unconditional love all the way into your vertical core. Exhale, drop down into your pelvic bowl and let your whole being land into this container of compassion, the eternal compassion. Let yourself be held. Let yourself feel yourself in a container of safety, of total love and acceptance, and let yourself rest, right? There is an existential divine essence that already knows you, knows everything about every fiber of your being, and holds you in absolute love and acceptance. Holds you with gentleness and kindness. Holds you with forgiveness and generosity and pure love. Pure love. So let yourself just breathe that in. Exhale, drop into your body and let your whole body rest in this safe container of pure divine light, unconditional love, eternal compassion, and more. And just take a minute and feel into your heart. And just notice, like take a kind of a, a check-in with your body. Notice what you're feeling. And let's notice places where your breath goes and notice where it doesn't. And notice some places, if there's some places in your body where you feel like, ah, oh, that's a place where I've got constriction and I'm not allowing the breath to go there, but I want to. And just see if you can let that space open up and let your breath move that place, right? Breath is like kind of like blowing up a balloon gently. <laughs> and just let that air come in and fill that space. Let that space inside of you expand. And just come back into its natural relaxed position as you exhale. It might reorganize itself as the tension is released. And just let your breath move those places. And I want to introduce a sound and invite us to make a sound together here. And it's a simple sound of the letter M. Just a Right. Let's let yourself feel that vibration in your body when you make that. Mm, it's one of the nasal sounds, right? It vibrates your upper palate and up into your uh, area of your brain above the upper palate, hypothalamus, the limbic system, pituitary, pineal. But that space there that 
you know, sometimes when we've had things come at us, other people's anger, other people's frustrations, things like that, maybe something you carried from your childhood and then into adulthood. And, and then, you know, we often repeat patterns and we'll find that we are in our comfort zone when we have a partner who is repeating the patterns of our childhood. That limbic system is that place where you can hold a lot of that uh, memory that will cause us to maintain that high alert of the nervous system poised and ready for the next shoe to drop. And so as you bring that that nasally sound in, the M is a sound, it's the sound of the fluid body. Right? Our bodies are 75% water and it's that that fluid existence. There's a poem by the poet Rumi says that says excuse me it says these forms we seem to be are cups floating in an ocean of living consciousness we think we are our bodies when in fact we are ocean too near to see though we swim in it and drink it in he says don't be the cup with the dry rim so your being is fluid Think of ourselves as these structural beings of you know, rigid bones. But even the bones, 20% water. Your blood, 92% water. Right? Your, your body is more fluid than rigid. So as your breath moves and that mm, vibration, it's like let that come in and move and ripple through the fluids of your body awakening the fluid tissues in your body and the fluidity within the tissues of your body and let your body begin to kind of feel like it's floating in an ocean and just let if it wants to to move like it's floating in an ocean your arms your head your legs Parts of you want to move. And again, you can use your breath. You can direct the sound to where you want it to be in your body and just allow yourself to rest into this ocean and just float or swim or just let your ripples vibrate from the center of your body out through the perimeter of your cup and into the ocean. Just let the vibration move the fluids in your body. And also, you know, as you feel things loosening up, use your breath to just inhale them up and blow them out. So our first step here is really just releasing that lock, that gridlock tension that we sometimes take on when we have... Um, tensed up our bodies to protect ourselves because we're waiting for that next shoe to drop or that next blow to unload. So let yourself use that mm, sound and that vibration, again, moving that through your fluid body, letting it move along your spine, along your diaphragm, into your chest, to your throat, your upper palate of your mouth, and into the, the brain, into your arms, your legs, your hands, your feet, your hips, just wherever you feel it needs to go. Just being with that mmm, the M sound. And if you need to use the tapping to tap along just any part of your body that feels constriction, the jaw, right? Your jaw, sides of your neck, and just, you know, give your, your face a stretch, like your jaw, give your jaw a stretch and your face a stretch. Because when we're bracing ourselves, 
We have that tendency to clench our teeth and to hold the jaw really tight and to, to hold the neck really tight and the chest and the shoulders and the belly, everything gets held really tight. So again, using breath, using tapping, using sound vibration, just let and let your body come into like a wave-like motion if it if it feels okay for you to do that right no compulsion here you do listen to your body always and feel what you need and if it gets to be too much you can stop at any time and just breathe just return to the breath and calling on that pure divine light unconditional love eternal compassion remember you are in this container this womb container it contains the ocean of living consciousness and you are held, loved, totally accepted and appreciated in every moment from within. So allow yourself to be held, to be loved, to be contained and to float, to float in this container of safety. Mm. And as you're ready, bring your breath to your heart center. And just be present with what your heart is feeling. And if you can, just be in a space of witnessing, right? And emotions are meant to be in motion, where they really come to into a painful place, where they... they um, seem to hurt us, right? To be something that's unsafe and uncomfortable is when we stifle the emotions and we try to hold them and shove them down or hold them in and put armor around them and not let them out. Because it's like, you know, the waves of the ocean roll onto the shore and then they, they roll to their end point and then they're drawn back into the ocean. Our emotions are like that, right? It doesn't mean that we have to like be an enactment of our emotions in order to let them flow, but we can let the feeling of them flow and be with your breath, be with your heart and just use your breath, right? And let them roll onto the shore. If you try to stop the ocean wave from rolling onto the shore, eventually it's going to build up and build up and build up and it's going to topple you over. It's going to take you out like a tidal wave. And a lot of times that's what we do with emotions. And that's when emotions become dangerous, right? That's when you, oh, don't be emotional. That's dangerous. That's out of control. What's out of control is stifling the emotions until they take us out or explode or become a tidal wave. So as you sit in a witness state, if you can, with your heart and just observe, witness what your heart needs. If you can be with the feeling of it and just let your heart move however it needs to move, let your breath move with you and move the space in your heart. Let it move that constriction and pain in your heart. Let it just blow that out. Let it release it. Let it release it and just let yourself drop deeper and deeper into your heart. Make centering your consciousness into the center of your heart. The center of your heart is a place of unconditional love. So as you go deeper and deeper into your heart, you can center and settle into that place of unconditional love. And from there, you can witness all of the, the layers that are sitting on top of that, layers of protection. And just, it feels okay for you. Just, you know, let those waves begin to have their motion, flowing, ebbing and flowing. And any of that pain, constriction, stuckness, just blow it out with your breath. Again, you can use the tapping. And just let yourself continue to go deeper and deeper into your heart space. Just reaching a place inside your heart. That can feel, if you can, somewhat peaceful. 
And if you can't get there, that's okay. Take a breath, blow it out. And as you witness the movement of the emotions, the energy in motion, so let yourself drop in and ask your heart, what does your heart need? Or from this heart-centered place, what do you need? What do you need? And if you find yourself saying, I need, or him or her or someone else to do something in order for me to feel safe and to be comfortable or feel strong or seen or supported, whatever that is, then okay. There may be something that person is doing that is affecting your ability, but the need is within you. So let go of I need him or her too, and just be with I need, right? I need to feel heard. I need to feel seen. I need to be heard, right? I need to know that I'm heard. I need to to feel valued and seen and appreciated and respected. And, you know, whatever that is that you feel, I need to feel my own inner strength and my vibrance. I need to know my light. I need to be able to stand in my strength and know who I am, regardless of what anyone says, right? I'm putting all these things out, but feel into your own heart and feel into your own vertical core, right? Center yourself in that vertical core, lean back into your heart center. What does your being need? Okay, and let's call that in for you, whatever that is that you need, whether it's to be seen, to be valued, to be respected, to be heard, to be appreciated to be acknowledged, to be strong. Strong, and what is strength? Strong is not the place that you've perhaps been in that had had shields of armor around your body and around your heart to keep things from coming in. This is the strength of the tree, right, that gets so strong in the forest, right, that the wind can blow, and the tree, the trunk of the tree is so strong that it doesn't move. The wind goes around it, right? Just like someone else's wind, when it comes blowing at you, it can go around you and not hurt you. So just let yourself be face to face with your source, calling on your source, angels, healers, helpers, guides, whatever is within your belief system and call directly and ask from your heart for what you need. That and trusting in the wisdom of the divine intelligence and just breathe that in. Let's let that come streaming down right in front of you and breathe it in. And let your whole body receive it. Receive what you need. Receive what you need into your heart. And let that come into your core. Let your core really be strengthened and secured and solidified by this. Whatever is coming in to meet your needs. Right, let that fill your entire vertical core. And let's just ask, I'm just going to make an ask from source. As this gets brighter and stronger from the inner, let's just ask for anything from the field, from the outer, from your, your body that's not yours. Anything that may still be hanging in there that's not yours. To be released from your field completely. Any of the old, like, voices that have been speaking to you 
from somewhere outside of yourself that may still be hanging out there repeating in your field someone else's words voices someone else's opinions someone else's anger someone else's stress someone else's frustrations just let all of that go from your field let it go from your field and just again calling on source calling on angels healers helpers guides to just clear your entire field and just put a like an infusion of the divine power of safety so your core let's call on the divine power of strength ya aziz ya aziz the divine power of strength to fill your core and aziz aziz is one that also will help people to recognize your value and treat you with respect ya aziz ya aziz and that's a z as in zebra i z all z's <laughs> all z's so calling on all z's to strengthen your core and the name for the divine protection is hafiz and that's h a f as in frank i z as in zebra so all z's on the inner and hafiz you want that hafiz to really infuse the entire field and create a barrier of protection around you this is a barrier that is not a shield of armor that keeps everything out but it's one that protects you from those things protects and preserves the core beauty of your being and allows you the safety to interact from your authentic self from your truth Ya Aziz on the core, Ya Hafiz through your whole field and on the outer. And just let yourself be with that. Be with that. Be with that. Aziz. 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 Ya Aziz, Ya Aziz, and that's the strength on your core. Ya Hafiz, Ya Hafiz, Ya Hafiz, the protection. Right? And if you don't want to use these words, you can just call directly on your source with your heart, heart to heart, with your intention. Ask to be filled with the strength and to be for your whole field and your whole being to be infused with divine protection All right the divine protection gives you the strength to grow the strength to to be strong and to receive the light and to receive the pure water and to receive the love and the sunshine and everything that allows your tree in the forest to grow big and strong and solid and secure and grounded and rooted and reaching up to the light right bringing that in yeah aziz yeah hafiz and let that really take hold in your body Ya Aziz, Ya Hafiz. Big breath, blow out any of the excess, any of the clutter, anything that needs to be released. And again, just inquiring into your own heart, what is it that you need? And it's okay to have a need let me say that so often we're you know in this place of well it's not okay for me to express my needs right it's not okay for me to be 
needy, right? Because we've been disparaged about being needy. But every human being has basic human needs and basic human rights. So what is that that you need in your own being? And you don't have to apologize for it or justify it. Just be present with it and let it be okay. And, you know, if you have a pen and paper, you may even want to write. It's the stream of consciousness. What is it that you need? And let your heart speak. Speak through your arm and your pen and let your eyes read it. Kind of completes a circuit there. What is it that you need? And let this be okay. Like let yourself settle in, be present with it, and let it be okay. It is okay. It is okay. It is okay. And as you settle into that and feel that, again, you want to write it down. It helps. It helps. Write that down. And from this place of recognizing, yes, you are a human being with basic human needs, basic human rights, right? This really gives you a lot of information about who you are and what you know within your own being, right? This is getting closer and closer to your truth. From this place, is letting yourself, if there is that partner or that person in front of you that has the habit of dumping on you, from this turning that heart to that person, what is a truth that you would like to speak from that need? You can take, take that feel from that place of acknowledged need within yourself what is a truth that you would like to speak you can write this down as well jesus said speak the truth in love when we speak from a place of yes this is what is because i am who i am and you know it's a matter of fact these are basic human needs basic human respect and from here I'm not going to use this to beat you up. I can speak from this place, though, because you also have basic human needs and basic human rights and respect. I can treat you with that. What you choose to do with that, then, is, is up to you, right? But from this place, and I say this because I can hear you saying, oh, it's not going to work, right? Because it hasn't worked in the past. But it's okay for you to acknowledge it and know it from within yourself what is and sometimes we got to get you know if it looks like a you blanky blank 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 you know and i'm whatever frustration you need to get out you can write that down too you know let it come out let it come out and then you get to the place of okay here's what i need to to speak from a, a place of truth from a place of authenticity from a place of respect as best you can this is what I need to say here. Let yourself write that down. And when you're ready, I want to ask you, who are you speaking to? right in the other person because they have an outer ego personality and they have an inner being and usually the stronger and more angry the outer personality is the more oppressed and suppressed the inner being feels because often anger is a way that we compensate for a part of us that feels oppressed feels unable to speak unable to get the needs met 
the basic human needs. So if someone is coming to you and dumping a bunch of stuff on you, there's a part in them that's feeling like their needs aren't met. Can you, can you reach to that part? Can you get a feel of what that part in them might need? And maybe you don't know. And I mean, truly, you probably don't know for sure. But you might have an idea if you spend a lot of time with this person you might have some idea the i think the important thing is to recognize that they're also a person with unmet needs and if we want to make headway in the relationship then coming from the place of okay i acknowledge my need i'm not in denial of my need i am present with it and i understand it and i accept it and i can speak from here but let me see where is that in you because that's when you reach the the point right when you can speak to that person to that part of that person even if they're not aware of it for themselves if you can speak from heart to heart that's where your words are going to connect and have the greatest impact so what is the part in them right and this doesn't mean that we need to call it out and say ah oh, hey i see in you that you have a place that feels oppressed suppressed weak um cower cowering you know right i see that in you and i want to speak to that right because they probably don't see that in themselves and they don't want to see it and that's okay they're not there yet but you can hold that you're speaking to a part of them that is tender. That is frightened. That feels powerless, whatever that may be. Right? And hold that in a place of understanding and compassion, if you can. And how would you speak to that person? Right, speaking your words from your truth, from your needs, and speaking to the place of tenderness inside of them. And it's okay from this place. It doesn't mean you're saying, oh, poor baby, let me hold the space where you can get your needs met and continue to, to dump on me, right? It means you're saying, okay, from this place, I'm gonna hold my my needs hold my boundaries and recognize that you also have needs and you also have a place in you that needs to strengthen your boundaries or clear your field heal your heart whatever that may be and so what would you and you can write this down as well. What would you want to speak from speaking the truth in love? What would you want to speak to that person? Sometimes we write things down that we're never actually going to say, and that's okay because it needs to come out. So whatever you write down you might want to sit with it a while before you decide what you're going to say in your conversation and that's okay speak the truth in love as Ram Dass said we're all just walking each other home And let's do one more piece of this. Do you just take a minute and again, breathe into the vertical core, breathe all of your energy into the vertical core of your body. And as you exhale, drop down and land into your pelvic bowl and lift your spine, elongate your spine and lean into your spine, center in your heart. And 
as you really bring yourself present in yourself now imagine yourself standing and your partner or whoever it is that you may be imagining for this exercise standing right in front of you and the two of you facing each other as best you can and just notice what is your position in reference to this person are you able to face them or do you find yourself turned away do you find yourself feeling cowering or smaller than them or overpowering or bigger than them or is it what's the relationship there just notice and then again let's call as you're standing there face to face call on those divine names again Ya Aziz, the strength, Aziz, Ya Aziz, the strength, and let this come into your core, and Ya Hafiz, the protection, and let it surround you and infuse into your entire field and your body, Ya Aziz, Ya Hafiz, and just let yourself come into just a whatever energetic positioning is necessary in that relationship as you stand face to face right you're, you're feeling into it energetically it feels right let it come to be an equal and let yourself feel within yourself strong and within your field clear and protected right and just be just be able to be with the person in front of you know that you're strong know that you're protected and if anything starts coming at you you know that that field just call on those angels take let them take whatever may be coming at you take it to wherever it needs to go whether it is to take it to diffuse it into the cosmos or to bring it back to that person so that whatever they need to deal with they can deal with directly with their source and if you want to make a prayer or an intention here you can do that prayer an intention for how this might shift what might happen what healing might take place for maintaining your strength and your safety security and just asking again for everything to be cleared all of the past stuff to be cleared from the field from your whole relationship dynamic bubble right because when you shift your part of the um the flow of energy like the neurological pathways within the relationship right when you shift the neurological pathways in your nervous system in your body you're going to find new pathways in your relationships the same way you shift your part the energy between you will have to find new pathways new way to direct itself so let's make a prayer that that be directed in a way that will bring about a higher light healing truth or love and compassion take another breath into your heart and put your hands over your heart and again bring yourself face to face with your source your heart to heart with your source and let your heart bow in gratitude for whatever you may have received today whatever may have cleared 
whatever healing may have come. And again, ask for that continued guidance and direction for you to be able to move forward with this in a productive and healthy way. Ask to be guided. And whatever else your heart feels. And again, your heart now in gratitude. Okay, and take a big breath into your body and just feel yourself land into your body, into your hips, feel your feet on the ground. You can stretch your arms and circle your wrists and your fingers and just get the movement into the hands and same with your feet, feel your feet on the earth. Any part of your body that wants to move, be in your body. Remember, these are meditations that we actually bring into the body. We don't leave the body. So the important thing is that you are grounded and safe and connected in your body and filled with this beautiful, pure divine light, unconditional love and eternal compassion. All right. And with that, I'm going to end the recording and I'll be opening for the Q&A. If you're on Facebook, look for the link in the um, uh, description there. Click that link and you can join us for Q&A. That doesn't get recorded or distributed out. If you are listening to the recording, you're invited to join us live on Sundays at 10 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. U.S. Pacific Time. Find information for joining us live at communityforconsciousliving.com. While you're there, pick up uh, or sign up to receive the reminders and replays, and you'll receive two free gifts. One is a one sheet that is 10 spiritual principles of our human existence to help us to remember the truth of who we are, what we are, what this world is about, what this life is about, why we're here. To help us to keep things in perspective as we're hitting all these bumps along the way in our bumper cars. <laughs> and the other one is a 15-minute downloadable guided meditation that I hope you'll download and use as a part of your daily practice to help you to connect with that pure divine light, unconditional love, and eternal compassion that is the core of who you are, the truth of your beautiful, bright, blessed being. All right, and with that, I'm ending our recording and opening for Q&A. Thank you very much.